So today's presentation will be on virtual jewelry making. Well, what we'll be covering is virtual jewelry making resources, as well as what they teach you and how you can access or register for them. So starting off, we're gonna be covering Skillshare. The overall premise of Skillshare is to provide an online learning community for people to learn from educational videos. The courses available on Skillshare are not accredited, but you can find reliable people to learn from. These courses are only available through paid subscription, and this is a great place to learn about a variety of skill sets. Skillshare Starcrafts. Starcrafts is a jewelry designer on Skillshare that provides lessons on how to make jewelry in various ways. The lessons provide short form videos detailing various designs, the tools required, and the steps that you will need to take. So as you can see on the left hand side, this is what it will look like when you click on her profile. You can see um, what uh, profession she is teaching about and as well as the name of the channel that you're on. And this is what a breakdown of a lesson looks like. So as you can see, this lesson in total is one hour and one minute long. And then it will show you the different steps that you would take. So you have like the tools and the basic and additional tools that you will need that they'll be covering in this video, as well as the clay types and earring findings and the clay conditions and such and so forth. You will be able to view the ratings of the teacher, the number of students they have, the level of the course, as well as the number of projects they have. So this is what the class rating looks like for StarCraft. Um, highly rated for being an engaging teacher, as well as the organization of lessons and helpful examples. Many of the students say that their expectations were exceeded. She has a 97% rating. And you can also see that um, her cor these courses are available for people of all levels. So whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, you can um, find something here for you, as well as the current number of projects she has and the students. Each lesson will have a summary that you can view before you decide to purchase. Images are also available for you to determine if this is something you're interested in. So this is what a sample of uh, the summary will look like for the class. So it's a short introduction about the teacher and what you'll be learning and the lessons they provide, as well as visual examples of the type of art or whatever they're teaching that they make. So this is an example of the earrings that the teacher has made. You will be able to engage with people partaking in the class as well. There is a section where you can view the work your classmates have posted, as well as upload your own if you're looking for engagement. This specific class is teaching you how to make polyamorous clay earrings. So this is what the um, comment section will look like where you can see people's posts, how many likes they have, as well as comments. And then you can also share your own work as well. Some additional lessons on StarCrafts are also included. So if you enjoy your lessons and your teacher, you can check out other lessons they have available that you may like to try. This teacher has ad additional lessons that include details on accessories, bracelets, and different earrings. So these are the different type of uh, things that you can find on this specific teacher's profile. So she also did a video lesson on vintage pearl beaded bag and also bead embroidery brooch and um, basics of beading and embroidery, embroidery, sorry, as well as more polyamorous clay earrings and seed bead jewelry, as well as handmade earrings on fabric. How to access Skillshare. When creating your Skillshare account, you can sign up using Facebook, Google, or Apple. Alternatively, you can input your first and last name, as well as your email and create a password. After you've made an account, you can browse available lessons before you get a subscription to access paid content. If you want to explore all the classes it has to offer, you will need a premium membership for unlimited access. You can be granted a free trial, a free month trial, but after, afterward, the price starts at 
1399, sorry, USD per month and 1894 Canadian dollars per month. There are also team plans available that you can look into. A Beautiful Mess. A Beautiful Mess is a lifestyle blog that is run by Sister Duo, Duo sorry, Emma Chapman and Elise Larson. Their site features a wide variety of how-tos, including crafts, recipes, and home decor ideas. Their slogan is stay at home and make something. The Beautiful Mess blog has a range of posts you can choose from yeah. on DIY, also known as do-it-yourself jewelry. Mm -hmm. To see the options, you would enter the site at abeautifulmess.com and enter jewelry into the search box. So this is what their home site looks like once you first open it. And you would just navigate to the search um, bar here and type in jewelry. After you've done that, you will get the relevant search results. Next, you will click on one that catches your attention from the various results that appear, and you will be able to follow along. You can access to the material is free and you can also save posts to pen interest if you utilize it. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. These are examples of um, different posts that they make that you can try. And then as you see here, once you hover over one of the posts, it'll uh, a button will appear where you can save to Pinterest if you do use it. When you've selected a post to try, you will be able to see the ratings at the top of the page and the most recent date it has been edited. The blog post will include different places you can acquire the required tools from, but, it, but if you have your own things prepared, there's a helpful jump to how to option that will take you to the steps right away. So this is what it looked like at the top of the post. Um, for this post that I entered, it had a five-star rating from one vote. Um, this is the button that you will click on if you think you have all the tools ready. If like you have your own art tools ready, you can just click on this and it'll take you straight to the directions. And then this is how it looks um, where it's telling you all the things that you will be needing for the specific post that you're in. You can download the supplies and instruction list if you need them at a later time or date. The post will also include notes that contain helpful tips and suggestions. You can also see the estimated time the activity will take. And at the, at the very bottom of the post, you can add comments to engage with others. So this is what it looks like. Um, this, I, even though it says cook, this is like a, the actual estimated time for like doing this specific activity. And then these are where you can see the different supplies and instructions as well. And then the notes, sorry, notes include um, different ideas that you might want to try. So as you can see, it, um, this one was making bracelets. So they recommended like maybe you can try using primary colors or you can make a multicolored bracelet and things like that. And this is what the post looks like when um, you're um, making the post, you will have to enter your name and email. Your email won't be shown, but you just need to um, include it in order for you to comment and then you can go ahead and post your comment. Craftsy. Craftsy is a subscription video on demand service. Similar to Skillshare, they host an abundance of lessons on various topics that you can access with a premium account. If you do not wish to buy a subscription, you can purchase the lesson on its own. First, enter craftsy.com into your browser in order to browse the lessons they have available. You can also limit the searches you conduct on Craftsy to a specific category, such as premium content only. You can further limit the search by content type, such as clay jewelry and price to own, because they have free lessons as well as content up to $70 USD or $94.69 Canadian dollars. Membership is available for $149 USD or $202 Canadian dollar limited to your first full year. After your first full year, you will be paying 97 USD or $131 Canadian dollars annually. So this is what it looks like when you're limiting your search. You can um, limit to, to either premium member access or free access and the different type of content topics that they include, as well as the price to own, which, is, which starts at free and all the way up to $70 and up. Each lesson will include a breakdown in the form of a drop-down menu that details what will be covered. 
you will have the option to download the bonus material of a lesson in the PDF format if you're interested in doing it at a later time or date. So this is what um, a free lesson looks like that I was browsing. You can see the drop down menu of which we'll be covering such as the basics of wire work, wire hoop necklace and wrap drop earrings and more. And they're each in video formats as well. And this is what the downloadable PDF file will look like, which will be at the very bottom of the page. You can engage with others under the comment section for each video. Some information is required before you can upload a comment. Under the lesson, you can also view the frequently asked questions about the website. So as you can see here, you will have to enter your name as well as your um, email and a website. It's not, it's not um, mandatory, but if you do want to advertise, you can do that. Your email won't be published, but they just require that you enter it so that you can submit a comment. And then this is all of the additional things that you'll see at the bottom of the lesson, which is the bonus materials, which you will click on in order to see the PDF um, downloadable form, and then as well as the class discussion and the frequently asked questions. And this is one of the comments that was on this post. You can also purchase DVD lessons instead of buying like a lesson or um, if you're not interested in any of the free content that they have available, you can just buy one of their lessons that interests you and they are um, on sale right now. So they're, they're cheaper than the actual lessons. If this is something that interests you, you can also limit it by categories that you're interested in. And I will be conducting a short live demo. So this is what Craftsy looks like. Um, you can see all of the different um, categories that it has available, such as photography, home, gardening, weaving. And then as you scroll, you will see the different um, advertisements. So for premium members, you have 24 seven access as well as follow along where you can learn at your own pace with detailed step-by-step -step online craft courses, learn from the experts and stay inspired. And then if you wanted to become a member, you would just click on this button and then it will redirect you to fill this information out. Your first and last name, um, your company name, this is optional, you know, your country, your address, as well as your town, city, state, zip code, phone, the standard process. And then you will just enter your um, credit card details and then click complete order. And then that's all you need to do to register. But if not, you can always just browse it for free. Oh. So this is the actual website though. And this is where you can browse like the different things that they have um, available. And also the prices are um, right up front, which is very helpful. You can, and as you can see some lessons, even if um, like some lessons are only offered if you have a premium account, but some lessons you can buy just the lesson itself. So as you see here, you can um, either have a premium account or just buy the lesson on its own. Um, that's not an option for all of them as well as the different free ones as well. And here's where you will limit the um, content type. So free access, you would just enable that and then um, you don't have to refresh anything. It'll do it for you on its own. And then it'll just pull up all of the free lessons that it has available. And then you'll click show more. And then also say you want like free lessons for one specific topic, then you can also limit it to just that as well. It's a pretty straightforward site. And then Skillshare, I'm not sure how far we'll be able to go without like um, creating an account, which I don't want to do. But this is just like the very basics. Um, you can sign up with either Facebook, Google, Apple. Um, you can only really browse, but they have a, a very wide variety of things. I think an even bigger variety of, definitely a bigger variety than Craftsy. So I think this would be a very beneficial one. Um, if you're not particularly interested in like jewelry making, they have so much more to offer that you can search for. Um, 
And yeah, so once you click on something that you're interested in, um, this is what it'll look like. You will get like the breakdown of the lesson, of course, and as well as how long the lesson is, um, the number of students, the level it's at, as well as the different projects the teacher has available. And then when you scroll to the bottom, where is it? This is where you see the class posts and like the different things that people have learned from the class. And then if you scroll even further, that is where you see the ratings. So it's very important that you check this out before you actually decide to um, get a subscription. And yeah, that's um, this is also a very straightforward site as well. And that's it. Thank <music> you.